Hello hello my people. Here it is on Paul Ngulichimana official. I welcome you again to my YouTube channel. We are going today we are going to learn mathematical functions in Microsoft Excel. So now, what are mathematical functions and what is it? Mathematical functions here, we can say sum, average, max, mean, power, security, int, odd. And mathematical functions here, these are the functions which can be used to perform mathematical calculation and even perform data analysis. Here, what you have today, you see we have sum, average, max, mean, which are going to be easily calculated here. And I will explain each and every thing here. So now, without taking too much time, let us start from doing this. Here you see we have three courses here, meaning math, chemistry, English, and some of these marks is equal. 150 so you need to get some of the free numbers you need to get you need average we can add also percentage here there's no problem so now here you see and then let us add percentage here new column then insert and then percent percentage here you see okay and then you can add different here so now to calculate sum we can use sum by formula or you can use like this sum equal open the parenthesis select first number second number and then third number here then you learn. You see, this is how we can get some by using formula. So, but we can also calculate some by using auto sum. To use auto sum, you select the numbers you want to get it sum, and then in the home tab, in the home tab here, right corner top here we have auto sum, and then you click auto sum here. And then you click sum summation of free numbers will it be will it be here. So now <clears throat> write us autofill to see that sum can be easily collected here. This is how you can get sum in easy way by using auto auto sum. Here within auto sum we have different mathematical functions such as average county numbers, max, mean, and the others. So, but today, let us continue to use this one. So now this is sum. But you have to ask yourself, it is a sum to which max? Here. This sum here, it is about 150 max here. Okay, here. So now, similarly, we can calculate easily average by using formula or by using auto sum. When we use auto, auto average here, not auto sum, it is auto average. We select the free numbers here, which you want to get the average. And then here in auto sum group, you can choose average. So the average will easily be calculated in this way. And then here, you can really auto fill this to get average of everyone. And I'm sure you will never have enough time to calculate the average of every everyone. So now, this also can be calculated by using, it can also be calculated by using formula, which you can use equal average, and then, opening parentheses, you can select this range to reach here and then cross. And in my previous video, sum and average, I have shown you how to, I have shown you the difference between colon and, and comma. And I think you remember. So now, if you do this, 
you can easily hit enter to run that code to see the calculated average and then you can do here by doing this auto fill okay you see now the average of everyone within the free courses is it is calculated here so now <coughs> the percentage here to get percentage it is easy you can type equal sign then open this one and to, you, to get percentage you can easily use this sum and now you know mathematically we take this sum cross by 100 cross by 100 division sum here sum of max i mean 40 30 and 8 here this 150 is equivalent to this 40 plus 30 plus 18 so now this one max it is it is a percentage so now to see you can run the code you see the first one here we have 71.3 and now you can do this like this you see this one will have 82 and if we use rank formula we can see who will be the first yeah and the rank function was done in a, my previous video here and here also we can <coughs> here also it is very easy to calculate percentage as it is shown here and in my previous video also it was shown so now here the max maximum here this max function it is used to display maximum number in selected numbers for example you have 25 maybe for example you have 20 you have 45 you have 56 and you have 10 for example so you want to know the largest number in this range you see if you, you look at here you see 56 will be will be the number which is largest so now to do this you can use a max function here what to do we can really type echo Freud by max function here and then you select numbers you select numbers which you want to calculate maximum here you you see by your eyes you can see 56 greater than all the remaining number but you want to get this number by using by using this function known as max so now you can do this here you see 56 will be so now you can autofill to get or maximum you see this is the maximum of every low here you see this 45 here will be maximum in 56 this 21 will be big in this range from here up to here this is our maximum but instead of using this instead of using this function you can also use this one from auto sum you can select maximum here you see so but here is a mistake we need first to select which number which numbers we want to calculate maximum number here you see and then you click here and then maximum you see 56 will be it will be here now let us auto fill you see here we are trying to use two different ways we are using by formula or we are using another way so here this maximum we are displaying the largest number big number it's so not big number the largest number here you are displaying the smallest na smallest number in the range for example you can use formula 
you know that in our previous video we explained that the formula is started with equal sign then mean and then select the numbers here to select the numbers here you want to get mean here and then close parentheses then line the code turn the code you really press enter button here then you see minimum is 19 between this and this one from here up to here you see 19 is the minimum with the smallest number you see now and then you really put your feet here you see the minimum of every law here in the selected selected range so now the minimum also you see here it can be easily calculated not by formula you can simply select this number and then from auto sum you can select the mean you see minimum will be also there without using for formula so now let us continue here to power you see for example this power function in microsoft excel is used to raise the number itself number of times for example you want free to be raised two times meaning that here this power will multiply uh, this function will be used to multiply number itself in a certain number of times here for example you want this number 19 you type equal then power for example you want to get 19 power for example power 3 here you see mathematically we type 19 power 3 within here this d3 is this number while this 3 is number of times meaning that 19 power 3 let us learn to see which number you see if we take 19 cross 19 cross 19 you will get this number let us calculate this one here you see 68 59 you see now this security stands for square root you are you are calculating square square root of a number here for example let us touch this one equal then security security and then let us select this number here you see the square root 5.7 and for sure here remember that this power and this square root receive only one number here square root receive one in a one number meaning that let us scroll here to see this one you see we can get square root of every every one so now what about the odd what about the int what about the odd here so now to get for example you see int int means integer number with no fraction party and this integer it rounds number to the nearest integer but it rounds number down what does it mean for example you want to remove this fraction part you can simply say int and then open here and then we select this number and then within this function of integer or int we it receives only one one number here you see we will get such five it rounds the number down but nearest it removes this fraction part so now you can do this and from here you see maybe you don't, you don't need this fraction part the int function can be can be useful 
So now if the other which is known as round function here if you want to round it up you can use round function but this one this one int it rounds down what about this odd the odd function you know the odd numbers are numbers which are not divided by two the answer to be equal to zero if you take odd number division by two you will never get a zero you will get fraction fraction party so now from here this odd function it displays the next odd number when the given number is not odd here for example let us say that this is 56 this is an even number what will be the output odd function here this is all the function now you can do this you see i i repeat once this odd displays all the number which is next to the number which was given if it is not all the number if it is all the number it is display that that number let us see you see the odd number which is next to 256 is 57 so now let us run what will be the odd number of this 15? It will continue to be 15 because number which is any the odd function is also an odd number. What to do? Let us do this. Okay. You see, look at here. You see, this 45 it is an odd number. No change here. 65, odd number. Why you see here 70, odd number which is next to 2. 70 is 71 you see so now this is the reason of today and i have to remind you that if you are interested in this course please try to subscribe and share so thanks